Hello, and welcome to hello. Hello, and uh, oh, yeah. Hello, welcome to uh, another video. So inside my car. Great. I'm doing another one. Yeah, about the car. So George, this little red mini, is unfortunately going to go. Well, not unfortunately, for the good of for the greater good, is going back up to Newcastle. It's all very exciting for him. Heartbreaking for me, but very exciting for him. But I need to do a couple of things because I feel like if I try and start him now, it it might not work. I just, let me just. Yeah, I. I think I need to charge the battery. Twenty four hours later. Oh, yes. He's back in the game! Hello, it's about 5.40 in the morning, um, and I'm inside the car. A few things have changed. There's no, you might not be able to see all this, but the old steering wheel's back on. Um, oil's being checked. Thingy, uh, tyres are being checked. I'm going to start leaving now. I've, got, I've had a yoghurt and a banana, so I feel like I'm nutritionally ready for this massive journey. I'm just gonna stop off on the way, man. I'm not gonna just drive like this long. Right, let's go. Seven forty nine AM Leicester. Yes, Leicester Forest East Services. I feel like I, like I'm gonna not do much filming here because obviously that's weird. So I've done I've done just about two hours driving and I've forgotten how loud this car is. Yeah, I don't know how I can describe it to you. It's just so unbelievably loud. There's a man walking past with a Costa. It's a Starbucks around here though. Where's he getting that Costa cup from? Anyway, yeah, welcome break. Waitrose, KFC, a day's in so you could sleep here if you want. Uh, Starbucks and a Shell petrol garage, yeah. Full comprehensive review is coming never. Imagine if I tried that. Jesus Christ. Another stupid thing about this car, yeah, is I've just got a coffee from Costa. Turns out that WH Smith has a little Costa thing in it. Um, and the queue for Starbucks is metal. So I've got a Costa. <clears throat> No cup holders in this car, you know, nothing. So now I want to kind of like get going, but I ain't got nowhere to put the cup, so I've got to finish this, then go get some petrol, check the tyres again, and then, oh man. Stupid car, I, I need to build a cup holder, but I, <laughs> there's no space. <laughs> Something I didn't realise though, is I, was, I left the house at about quarter to six in the morning, and I thought, that's quite early. Not gonna hit any traffic, yeah. I'm just gonna go out, it'll be fine. There'll be like a couple of lorries on the road or something. There's so many people on the road, yeah. Look, look at all these people here. Yeah, sure, this is eight in the morning, but this is also a motorway service station. So people, people will have had to have like left quite early to get to this place, do you know what I mean? Here's a tip, yeah. If you ever come to the Welcome Break in Leicester Forest Green or whatever this is, yeah. Don't even bother with the Starbucks, yeah. The queue's mental, all the rest of it. If this place has got a Harry Ramsden's, yeah, and their breakfast bat was five stars, right? Let me tell you, five pound, yeah, four pound ninety nine. But you can choose from four breakfast items, four. So I had sausage, bacon, egg, hash brown in a sandwich. Yeah, I know you think I'm mental, but that was amazing. But you can have baked beans in a sandwich. Mental. Right, I've got to get going. I can't be doing. I can't be doing with sitting here that much longer. Weatherby services are the one, yeah. They've got a Days in, yeah. I think it's a Moto one. It's got an MS, it's got a Costa, it's got like three Costas, yeah. But most importantly, it's got Greg's man. It's like half ten in the morning, and I'm gonna have a Greg straight bit. Everyone else around here is taking the breakfast option. No, no. I've been up for five hours. This is my lunch. So between Leicester and Weatherby here, 
which is like just outside of York, if you don't know where it is, yeah. I've had so many people complimenting the car. Like, I've been on a motorway, yeah, and you see these people. So I, I'm quite slow, obviously, because I'm in a little car. But I still overtake trucks. So when there's a truck coming, I can. there's all these people I like, overtake them like, all the time. But I'm like, right, so I wait for him to go past and then I'll go. But what they always do, yeah, is they slow down. It's always the people, when there's two people in the car, if it's just one person, will just speed past. If it's two people, the person like in the passenger seat will be like, oh, slow down, slow down, to look at, to look at this little scamp. And then, which is fine, that's lovely that they want to look at him, but like, I want them to go so I can get overtaken. It's annoying, but you know, it's just the way it is, isn't it? I feel like it's how like celebrities must feel. Whatever. This bad lad in a Fiat Punto was driving past, yeah? And he just like turned to me and went, like that. And I was like, all right, look, look at the road. Mental. And then parking up here, he was like, oh, that must be easy to park. I'm like, you haven't had it on a motorway, man. You've got no idea. He was there in his Passat. It's like, I'd love something like that to be able to park. I'm like, living in constant fear of lorries. Yeah, you don't want that. And this is the kind of car that people love, innit? No one really wants to own one, but people just like love them. I should have got rid of this car a long time ago. I'm not gonna lie. It's impractical. The only time I ever need a car in London, yeah, I need a car that's bigger than this, so I still have to go and get a zip car. Never actually like need it. It costs me so much money to like keep it running. But I'm never gonna get rid of it. I've got about 90 miles to go. Give me a bad back, this car. Jesus. And so after what seemed like a really short 90 miles, here he is, in his new little home. And sure, it's not the fanciest place in the world, it's a little bit cramped in there, but I'd much rather he would be in here than out on the street, his paint wearing off even more. And he'll have fewer admirers, definitely. Not many people get to come round and see this little garage, but uh, I will, every once in a while. You know what, in general, like, I'm not even a big fan of cars, I quite like getting the train. You know, you can have a little coffee there, you can kind of chill out, you don't have to concentrate. But there's something about this one. This little scamp. Yeah. Gonna miss him.